News First Newsline with Faraz Chalkotali. And a splendid evening to you. This is Newsline Live and we are broadcasting as we almost always do from the News First studios in Dorset Street in Colombo. Now then, today is, as always, it's a special day uh, because life is special. Uh, but today is a very special day for one particular person, at least, uh, that we know of. Uh, because um, that person has reached the wonderful age of 100 years today. And so to um, a person called Auntie Mary, uh, Newsline says to you, very happy 100 years today. Isn't that lovely? Uh, in between all this, somebody is celebrating 100 years of life. Brilliant. Uh, because, of course, that is uh, the UN Charter's uh, first principle, the right to life. Now then, Having uh, wished Auntie Mary a very happy birthday, uh, let's move on to matters at hand, uh, contemporary matters, today's matters. And we've, our guest today is uh, Mr. Hasna Rajakarna. Very good evening to you. Good evening, Isn't perhaps. it nice that uh, Auntie Mary is celebrating 100 Absolutely. years? Absolutely. Many happy days. Yes, it's very good. Uh, excellent. I do hope that Aunt Mary is uh, a Newsline viewer. Uh, I'm not sure that she is. Anyway, now then, today was you in Parliament. Yes. What were you protesting in Parliament about? Uh, there were a couple of issues uh, that uh, the first issue came up as uh, soon as the Parliament came in is the Mr. Premla was uh, sworn in as the Member of Parliament mm. and the opposition MPs protested against that and pointed out uh, that he should not be allowed uh, since he's a convicted murderer. Mm. Uh, so there's two sides of the story. However, uh, uh, former uh, Army Commander Field Marshal Prabhat Fonseca pointed out that uh, he was not allowed uh, to come in, uh, in after he was convicted mm. uh, and that uh, it's uh, the same kind of a scenario but again uh, the current MP uh, is allowed to come into Parliament, so there was a uh, an apparent anomaly. There. It was an apparent anomaly. Yes, yeah. but uh, isn't the uh, there, there appears to be a difference uh, between uh, the Fonseca uh, matter and the Jayasekara matter? Um, Premla Jayasekara has uh, made an appeal following his conviction and uh, uh, in the Fonseca matter um, it isn't clear and he didn't say it today on in Parliament he didn't say whether he had or had not made an appeal um, the popular belief is that he didn't make an appeal at the time uh, I suppose he felt there was no need to make an appeal because he probably get convicted anyway but you know that's a, a supposition but on the face of it He's a man, Jai Sekra, who has made an appeal. Of course, the conviction stands until the appeal uh, is heard and decided upon. Um, but do you think that that was the right thing to do in Parliament today? According to the verdict, it, there's some uh, uh, responsibility given to the Speaker yeah. that he should be the one who is taking the decision. And uh, so they they were comparing now situation to Field Master Sahar Fonseca situation where then the speaker uh, did not allow. Right. And the uh, current speaker has allowed. So it's more than more than uh, the court. Uh, they the opposition MPs were pointing out uh, against the decision of the current speaker. Uh, do you feel that the real uh, complaint was directed at uh, the court rather than uh, the, the in Parliament? No, actually, the, we, were, we were all talking about the speaker's decision right. more than the court. So the court, uh, I mean, it's, uh, we, we take it, make it customary not to uh, talk about the court. Yes, but, then, but you have the judiciary separate from uh, the legislature and um, the legislature uh, is guided in certain ways 
by the other arm. Yes. And so in this case, we have a, a clear um, uh, direction from the Court of Appeal that uh, Mr. Jasekra's plea to be able to, to be released to attend Parliament, uh, they agreed, citing a, a, a lacuna in the law, in which says that uh, uh, they, they noted, the two justices noted that there was no reference in the Constitution to a scenario like this, where a member of Parliament serving or not serving and so on, um, whether they can attend Parliament uh, whilst under appeal. Um, but don't you think that what uh, your party ought to have done is to have gone to the Supreme Court along in, in tow with the uh, perhaps the victims of uh, Mr. Jasekri? That's a different matter altogether. Right. But we were pointing out at the Speaker's decision because yeah. the verdict given was uh, 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 mentioning to the Speaker that it's his decision right. to bring uh, Mr. Asaker to Parliament or allow him to vote or not. You know, yes, because obviously the judiciary can't exactly. dictate terms. Yes. So we were pointing out that if the South, uh, for, uh, Field Marshal South Fonseca was not allowed, how come this particular person is allowed? Right. So, so there was a uh, clear difference between then and now. It was a little bit, uh, a little bit of theatrics. Uh, along with the black Spartacus and so on. <laughs> we, it's a way of uh, expressing our protest, uh, expressing our, our displeasure against that. Have you thrown away the Spartacus? No, I, 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 I still have it in my cubby. Uh, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we'll be using it quite regularly. So is so that so. the case, black Spartacus going to be your biggest weapon? Not exactly, not exactly, but uh, uh, it's obvious that, you know, since this government has formed, uh, you know, people have taken things into hand. And especially the uh, government MPs and government supporters have, uh, you can clearly see what has happened in, in Putlam. Uh, all, all these reservations have been destroyed. Mm. Uh, so there was, uh, even today I saw, uh, yesterday I saw somewhere in Hambantar district, Today I saw on news somewhere in uh, Hanta area. Uh, so so uh, it's it's sad to see that people have uh, taken uh, you know power to their hands. Are you uh, are you regretting uh, the current situation, um, which is that uh, the opposition, your party has got uh, about 54. That's right, 54 seats and uh, the government of the day have got uh, a near two-thirds, actually they will have a two-thirds majority now. And uh, are you ruining that uh, scenario? Oh, I, I, I don't believe that any part should get two-thirds. Right. Uh, I think uh, if there is a matter that is good for the country, uh, both the government and the opposition should get together in such matters. Are you? And and uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the split between uh, the UMP, you know, gave uh, two, th I would, I believe that gave two thirds to uh, the current government. So it's your fault then? It's not my fault. Well, I mean, when I mean you, me, you so and it's, uh, it's the leaders of the UMP then hmm. uh, should have, uh, ah, should have. So it's Ronald's fault. I see what I mean. I, uh, every I time I try and avoid Ranil's name, it, it comes up. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's try and avoid that. Then. Well, but I want to try, but it. it, it no, it, it, uh, I mean, what can we do? It comes up. I, I believe that uh, if it weren't for that split, we would have got another at least 20 MPs for the opposition. What is the attraction in your mind of the Rajapaksas? No, it's. The, the last election, simply people were uh, displeased with the current government, and that was the main attraction. Displeased with the Afghan government. Absolutely. Why? It it it, uh, it did not uh, it it didn't market itself uh, 
they, they should have done lots more uh, and, uh, uh, and the Rajapaksas outside the, in, even in the campaign. You all also protested today about the 20th Amendment. Yes. Um, what do you find not so nice about the 20th Amendment? So there was a talk since 1977 regarding the executive presidency. And yes. Everybody uh, has had a, some sort of consensus that one particular person should not have a such executive power. Yeah. And uh, so eventually the 17th Amendment produced uh, the executive powers. Then uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa, then President, introduced the 18th Amendment and you know then only uh, took off the limit of the two term, term limit. And, and, and also uh, the independent commission were all Can brought under him. for one second. What about the difficulties that President Sivisena faced uh, as a result of the 19th Amendment? You know, he found himself unable to change the Prime Minister. So, let, let me, let me yeah. uh, continue. So, after the 18th Amendment, uh, we, we brought the 19th Amendment, gave, again, reducing the powers of the Executive President. And he is the one who led it. Mr. Pre then President Maitri Pal Sivisena yeah. was talking uh, all the glamour, glamorous things about how, about his achievements, mm. you know, reducing his powers. I don't know why he's talking about anything else now, because he was talking but, quite but we glamorously. All, but we can all see, uh, we all saw, in fact, at the time, the difficulties that Sirisena had uh, in dealing with the matter that he, you know, he was not comfortable with his prime minister, he wanted to remove yeah, him. Yeah, but it's not his decision whether he's comfortable or not. If people have elected him. The, the people they, didn't elect the prime minister. Of course he did. They didn't elect the no, prime minister. No, no. When you, I say the people, it's people's representatives yeah. in parliament. Yeah. So if the majority in the in, in parliament, that is the people's view. Yeah. Right? That's the but old point of democracy. Time, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but yeah. it's a fine line because the, the constitution actually puts the, o the, the onus is on the president who shall appoint from the members of parliament the person, uh, the member whom in his opinion can hold uh, the can command the majority of parties. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, so, so he, that is that is his opinion. It's his opinion is yeah. not the, what he dreams in the night. He, it, he, when you say in his opinion is the clear fact where you go for a vote in parliament. Well, you you can go for a vote. Exactly. But he he didn't go for a so vote. That's what he should do in a pro democratic country. But if you have any, any uh, doubt, if you recall in January 2015. Uh, although the president had changed, um, the United National Party had only 42, 42 seats. Uh, the then speaker let it carry on. Yes. And the new president clearly um, felt that it was my, um, Mr. Vikram Singh who could command. But that, that whole thing wasn't ever tested in parliament because... Yes. But technically he had 42 seats. Yes. So if he, if somebody has had uh, uh, tested it, yeah. he would have had to go for a general election because there was no 19th Amendment then. So uh, the president would have been able to dissolve the parliament, right? right. So, but now and and what Mr. Maitri Pal Sivisena and Mahindra Rajapaksa did uh, in front went before the court and and you know they had to change. Yeah. So, so it was an illegal, unconstitutional thing that and they And there did. you go. Even in that matter, we have been guided by the judiciary. And on that note, we'll come back to this, uh, Harsh and Rajakaran. On that note, we're going for a short break. We're, don't go away. After all, this is Newsline Live. We'll be back after this short message. News First, Newsline, with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And welcome back to Newsline Live, in conversation with uh, Member of Parliament from the SJB, Mr. Hachina Rajakarna. Um, actually, that's amazing. Uh, how many, how many, uh, did you find that you got less votes this time round? Me? Yes. I got actually as a percentage higher than last time. So, so you, do, you, you did remarkably well. Uh, thank, yeah, 
Thank God. But don't you think it's time for you then to knock on the door at three quarter and say, hey, listen, I did well, I want the leadership. <laughs> I think they should all knock on Mr. Sajid Prem Dadu's door and say, please come take over the party and do the needful. Unfortunately, Is none of them... Mr. Prem Dadu's interested in that? Uh, of course, he was the deputy leader of the party. His father was the leader of that party and we, we all want the, the whole country... So heart of heart, you'd like to go to three quarter. Sorry? Heart of heart, you'd like to go to three quarter. As long as the leader is Sajid Premadasi, yes. Hmm. So is it something that will happen? No. As a young politician, you're relatively young, isn't it? Well, so... What do you mean relatively? Yeah, I'm pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> you are young. But now, but you... Aren't you, really, aren't you concerned that this old fossil uh, ain't going anywhere and that your prospects are being stymied because of that. So absolutely, that's the reason that we walked out uh, and, and we have formed a new political party, SJB, Samagi Janabalavek, and our leader is Sajid hmm. Uh And uh, I, I, I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure that, uh, uh, you know, this that's a that's the reason that people voted and we got 54 members in parliament within a matter of three months mm. and uh, and the UNP unfortunately uh, uh, didn't have a single MP who won a seat. The SLPP were previously the new boys in the block and they won uh, a uh, amazing two, near two thirds. Yes. They, they had quite a long time uh, where they, they were able to... Do you think all these things about, that were said by the Yapal and the government, uh, you know, in their campaign, uh, that they will uh, hold them accountable and responsibility, they will track down the thieves, and then were not able to do anything much about it, do you think that really kind of backfired? Absolutely. That was one of the main reasons, I would say. And the, why did that so happen, Hush? No. Why did the, so far the, as that is the problem that I have as well, yeah. even now. And uh, what happened? I mean, did the did the prime minister and his men, his boys, did were they so busy pursuing other interests um, that they forgot all about their election promises? The people actually were very angry about it. The other day, I met an. Uh, a dear old lady who, who told me there's no way I'm going to vote for them. And I said, why? She said, because they told lies to me. And they, they didn't send anyone to jail. I wouldn't say that they told lies, but there was a problem that they were not, th those things were not executed. Well, it's like you and I now, we're on live television. Uh, if you make a claim, uh, I genuinely expect that you'll be able to substantiate your claim. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, the, the public... No, I, I still I believe that m most of the, not most, quite a lot of the ministers who are in the current government yeah. should be in jail. Right. Should have been in jail. And uh, unfortunately... Uh, but we don't have a culture of that. That also, and 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 uh, I I I don't I don't know. They I mean, could have not, done a. We're not the Republic of Korea. We are not South Korea. Uh, you know, uh, they've got they they jailed four people for their presidents um, for various things, corruption. Yeah. Uh, so that's power. that's what we we hoped in the Yapala government that that culture would change and people will be accountable and. And the public wanted that more than anybody, hmm. and and that is one of the main reasons for our defeat. Do you think that we need an altogether new constitution? Yes, I believe that we need a new constitution, and I, I, I think that this current government has two thirds, and they can uh, bring a new constitution within three months. There's absolutely there's no that? reason. No. I, I don't know whether they'll do it or not because all they want, it seems, is to get rid of the 19th Amendment and bring uh, 
few people into parliament. You mean that absolutely, right. and uh, and also allow uh, uh, the president to do whatever he wants. You know, but you know. Uh, Bia Bazu, he he says he's your neighbour, isn't he? He's Gampa, really. Um, no, he's not from Gampa, though. No, but that's his. That was was yes. Um, but he said, I saw him on TV. I think yesterday or the day before. And he said, there's no, um, I, there's no need for that. No, at the same time, he said, if people want, he'll, he'll think about it. Yeah, so he's a people's man. So I don't blame him for that. <laughs> so I'm 100% sure that he will. Uh, that is the reason for the 20th Amendment. Right. And then, was the, the reason of the 19th Amendment to keep him out? No, I, I think there were a few other re things along well, with like the Like as well. No, and the 19th Amendment has, has a lot of significant uh, positive uh, sections there. But it equally had a lot of uh, nuisensical things. Uh, no, so, so that is the reason. The, as the SJB, Samagi Janam Balavek, we believe and our stand is that yes, there should be some amendment to the 19th uh, Constitution. Uh, 19th Amendment, no, no doubt in that. But that does not mean that we could repeal the 19th Amendment and bring a 20th Amendment, which goes backwards. So we, we should, we should, uh, you know, further strengthen the 19th Amendment. If there are loopholes, if there are issues that uh, uh, arise in a negative way, yes, let's rectify that. We are all for that, mm. but that does not mean that just because there is a uh, few mistakes, few few things that would not do right, we should get rid of the whole thing. Right. So, so you you feel that there needs to be some kind of course, of course, of course. And um, what do you think um, as we come towards the end of our program this evening? What do you think will happen? Uh, to our justice system in the next five years? So that is the biggest problem that we, the country will face, I would say, when, when the executive, when the president has all his power to appoint uh, the, the, the judges, right? So it will, it will be uh, obviously politically motivated and, and it will be the judiciary system would not be independent. Mm. So I think that will be a huge blast for democracy in this country. Whatever said and done, people have uh, some faith, and especially in the last five years after the 19th Amendment, uh, you know, people have some faith against, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, some faith on ju the judiciary, on, on the Attorney General, on uh, the police commission, and so on. Mm. So we should have strengthened those. Unfortunately, uh, the 19th Amendment, uh, all the positive things on that is taken away simply because they want to further strengthen the executive and also, uh, you know, make yeah, made with him politicized. Do, do you think that Sri Lanka really does need a, a concentration of power in the presidency? So, Sri Lanka, when, when Jaya Jawadhan introduced that, all, all the leftist movements went against saying that that is not the right thing to do. And also, after a few decades, uh, you know, it, it was a common consensus that we should reduce the power and that is the reason the 17th Amendment and the 19th Amendment was brought. So, it is, it is always better to have checks and balances. Mm. So, so, the 19th Amendment, we, you know, paved the way for that. Unfortunately, all that checks and balances is taken away the immunity, the president's immunity is given back, and he could do whatever he wants. Does the SJV have a, have a printed constitution, party constitution? No, we, we have we have a, a constitution, but at the moment we we are doing the 
uh, new constitution and the, and, and the hierarchy and so on. In the party constitution? Yes. Right. Uh, will that be available online for everyone? Yes, of course, once it's complete and we are hoping to have, uh, uh, have everything done by the end of the year. Um, and the future, is it looking bright? Absolutely. Uh, I believe that uh, as, as a start, SJB has within a few months come to uh, come as the main opposition in, the, in this country. And we believe 2024, the presidential election, uh, we, we will work towards Sajid Premadasa, uh, our leader, being elected. So Premadasa in 2024. So Premadasa too. Yes. Will be president. Your prediction is by 2025. That's what we are working for. Well, you know, um, Rashid Rajkan, thank you very much for coming here and being so open, as you thank always you. are. Um, and uh, we hope that you don't have to use your black star to care too, ma too many times. Uh, but if you do, it's always in the cubby. It is. Um, there you go. And that's the way it was on Newsline Live. Take care. Have a great evening ahead of you. And of course, God bless. Thank <laughs> you.